It is said that ninjas could hide underwater for hours, breathing only through blowguns. When the target appeared, they would launch a poisoned dart to eliminate it. But did this method really exist? To verify the myth, Tori submerged himself in 20 degree water. They measured how long an untrained human could endure. To reduce heat loss, he covered his body with animal fat and wore a leather suit. Staying in water that cold is dangerous. Heat loss is 32 times faster. Two hours could be fatal. After one hour, Tori's breathing became labored. With intense body shivering, he reached his limit. He resisted for an hour purely by willpower, suggesting that trained ninjas could last longer. Then they built camouflaged blowguns. They used bamboo to blend into ponds. Kerry split the bamboo, inserted a metal tube inside to ensure smooth walls. They tested if it could hit targets at five meters. The dart struck the mannequin's head, increasing the myth's credibility. But aiming underwater is extremely difficult. Water refraction distorts vision. The real target doesn't match what is visible. Reloading the dart while breathing is another challenge. Kerry tried to overcome refraction. Her first attempt almost hit Grant. After two failures, the third dart struck the mannequin's torso. The final challenge remained, executing the entire sequence underwater. Breathing was not difficult, they all lasted 10 minutes underwater, but reloading and shooting underwater proved impossible. All the blowguns flooded. The darts had no force, they didn't even leave the pool. Carrie found a solution. Hold the dart with the, dip the teeth between the lips and breathe around it. Insert it when needed, avoiding water entry. Carrie and Grant managed to hit the mannequin. Untrained people achieved it, suggesting it is plausible that ninjas could have done it.